Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well, having a lovely weekend and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering Bitcoin, Litecoin, EOS and the gem of the week Litecoin ICX which has been just profits after profits on that coin and continuing again today with another 15% actually overall. Um, so yeah, let's start with Bitcoin. Um, so, uh, yeah, congratulations to the winners yesterday of the giveaway, which I done on, the, on that live stream. Um, so well done to those. And uh, thanks for watching everybody on that live stream. It was enjoyable. Well, obviously, I've done a quick talk about Bitcoin, saying how we were holding the exponential moving average supports of the 12, 8 and 26 on the one hour, but mainly the 8 and 12 on the four hour chart. We were holding those exponential moving averages very nicely, but on big bearish divergences. So we were forming bearish divergences across that volume, okay, moving up on declining. We were on bearish divergences on the RSI, Stochastics, MACD, and the Histogram. So there were definitely <laughs> the red signs there for this move down. With the bulls really, really trying hard to close above 3,900 for the first time, getting very close to the close, but obviously getting smacked down by those market shorts. Lovely to see uh, team bears coming in with those market shorts to push that price back down. Okay, now let's say, where, yeah, I mean, firstly, the uh, parallel channel that I've had highlighted here in trading from has just been um, literally the best. Uh, again, we actually found temporary support on the middle of this parallel channel, okay, before breaking down to the 200 EMA here on the 4-hour. But you can just see how we had resistance, uh, support, 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 resistance. Again, we found temporary support before breaking down to the 200. Let's add this on. Why? Here we go. Uh, sorry. So here we go on the 200 EMA, and this was obviously us grinding up along the 8 and 12 here. Um, and, and so, yeah, really finding big support on the, the 200 EMA here. But also, if we look at the daily, OK, on the daily, we had even more support. OK, so on the daily, we also had in this region the 55 and 26 EMA. So EMA supports. And then when you combine it with this and you see this whole region of Wix support, 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 again, support. And there is definitely support in this region where it's 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 definitely favorable to be a scalper. OK, this is definitely favorable. um for scalpers in this range where swing traders um i guarantee a lot of swing traders would have got stopped out of their positions yesterday i would be very surprised if they didn't okay so this is definitely for a scalpers range as you all know i was short from 3900 anyway so this for me was a nice opportunity to take some profits just in this range um, but yeah, like if you were trying along in this range, I'm pretty sure you would have got stopped out yesterday. And that just highlights, um, as I've been saying many times, this is a scalper's range. We love it. Um, but probably not so much if you're getting stopped out all the time. And that's where you have to like reevaluate and take short, take your positions on longer time frames. Okay. Zoom out to the weekly where you can get some clear indication of where this is going. Okay. We just, for example, the, the 12 EMA, which we have not been able to close over for a few months now. Okay. The 12 EMA unable to close over M tomorrow is going to be a telling point for me because we could finally close above the 12 exponential moving averages averages just average on the uh, weekly here so we are fighting with the 12 ema here sat at around 3900 okay so 3900 is going to be telling for me but just zooming down into the four hour again I mean, it's just really, really clear that there's clear resistance here at, at 3900 I mean just wicks above totally um Obviously, um, yeah, I'm still still expecting this to come up to around the 4,000 mark. Well, expecting, you know, it, just from the technicals, I would want to see this come up and form a higher wave too. Uh, <laughs> maybe to just to fill all my shorts. But that's still my primary count that we will be coming up for this wave two to come back down. OK, um, but if we start to close above 4,000, then, yeah, then I will be looking for longs. OK, if we start to close above 4,000. Um, but if we uh, just get rejected, then I'll just be comfortable holding my short positions. Um, but yeah, 4,000 for me is a telling area. I mean, actually, today, close getting to that 3,928 in the end. Yeah, 3,928. We have took out another high. So, I mean, we are grinding up slowly here. Um, so we are grinding up slowly, just, you know, slowly but surely are going upwards here. Um, so it is nice to see in that respect. Um, but yeah, that you have to be aware of different counts that you have here. So my wave two potential coming up to 4,000, the, obviously the alternate count, which is a, a bullish count, would be that this is wave one, two, and this is just one, two of the third. OK, so we'd be in wave three coming up. This for me, I mean, this this is OK for the start of a wave one coming down for a two but we will want to see some more impulsive action especially breaking from 4000 you know 4200 we're going to want to see some impulsive action here um 
and which for me this is not impulsive and, and that's why my, my primary count still favors this as being in wave two up to four thousand you know top four thousand you know i'm still you know expecting this we could, obviously there's the potential that this three thousand nine hundred twenty eight was the top obviously you have to be prepared for all scenarios in trading and that's why i hold zero bias hold zero expectations and just trade the charts because otherwise you are going to get burnt and never hold a bias of what you think is really going to happen you just want to be adaptive and trading to the charts you know i'm short you know short term bearish but if we start closing above 4000 i'll be quick to take a loss on that short uh, and just move into a new position but as you all know i've been a big advocate of trading altcoins you know i couldn't care less what really happens now on bitcoin because of the altcoin profits that i've had over the last few weeks they've been absolutely crazy and if you've missed out on trading these alts um well, there's always more opportunities. I don't want to put a downer, but there's always more opportunities, obviously. But um, you've missed out on some great opportunities because some of these altcoins have ran, 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 ran. We've seen 100% moves across the board on, on big altcoins, okay? Big altcoins. I've seen 100% moves recently. So, uh, I mean, I mean, you all know I've been highlighting um you know the altcoins that i've been trading you know heavily over the last few weeks just saying that the opportunities are definitely with altcoins without a doubt i mean when Re I icon obviously broke 750 that was the main resistance that we were looking at and then it just ran you know it's on, on the btc chart i think it, it reached about 900 and it's on about a 900 well like when i last checked it was on about 910 uh we are now currently sat yes yeah, so 911 uh, but again breaking over resistances so um yeah, Icon's looking really, really healthy. Uh, let me start with Litecoin though, which is the first coin that I sculpted yesterday. So obviously where Bitcoin found support, <clears throat> Off of that 200 EMA, um, I was looking to sculpt altcoins, okay, to, you know, basically you play against the trend. So when it's dropping, you go into longs, okay, that's how I trade uh, when I'm sculpting. But uh, yeah, so I took a nice long position here on this old resistance, old resistance that is clearly support. Uh, you know, especially Litecoin as well, because Litecoin is a really bullish coin. Uh, definitely one of the more bullish coins in the whole of the space, along with EOS, which is another one, which I just simply buying and sculpting from a horizontal level, uh, like really easy, <laughs> like nothing majorly complicated about it. But um, you just have to have the experience and, and um, confidence of in, in knowing what you're doing, really. And it's a big, big factor. Um, but obviously, we're looking here at old resistance, flipping into support again. Where did we find resistance? Horizontal of the double top here. Um, so now we're forming a shooting star. Obviously, this is a bearish shooting star candle, breaking resistance, coming back down, closing below. Um, but really, it's just been having the confidence of entering, sh you know, entering into longs uh, on these horizontal levels, entering into short on these horizontal levels, sculpting the range in between. Um, and then when you get breaks and it like if we close above here, then you short here. OK. And if we come above here, you long here, okay? For example, you could be longing here. No, this to be aware, none of my videos are financial advice. This is not financial advice. Please consult a financial advisor if you're looking for help in any sort of regards. I am solely a trader, just a professional trader and nothing else, okay? So no financial advice, but that's how I trade these ranges very, very successfully, okay? Um, so let's move on to EOS, which is exactly the same example. What have we got here? Old resistance, old resistance. What did it do? It come down, found support as well on the uh, 100, uh, 100 exponential moving average in the end. What am I now at the 100 EMA on the four hour? Obviously, I'm trading this on much lower time frames, but I'm just going to stick to the four hour here just for ease. I did did find support on lower EMAs as well, uh, but mainly this horizontals, you know, closing back above it, entering into positions, trading it up to the horizontal resistance, which we're facing now, the first one. Uh, but obviously the the top is is sat around three three dollars ninety cents more or less. Okay. So these are just sort of the ranges you're trading, and Icon has just been the, the biggest joy to trade. Uh, I mean, look at this on the daily chart. Uh, let's just hide everything off the chart a second. This is a really nice looking coin, by the way, where, you know, the next target is going to be around 40 cents if we continue to move up nicely, um, you know, where the next horizontal region is. But this has just been flip after flip after flip. OK, double bottom. We come up, move up to the top, obviously come down, flip old resistance into support, move up. You know, we actually flip the resistance into support again. Now we got to move up. Then we flip this resistance into support again and get another move up. It's just being flip after flip after flip. Like really like easy trading. Re to be honest, really easy trading. Uh, it's not difficult to learn that sort of thing. Um, and it's extremely profitable. Um, to, yeah, really, really like not... I'll just say it's really profitable just trading like that. Um, uh, yeah, this alt, these altcoins are obviously you want to be careful now buying the altcoins when it's at the top of the move. You want to just be, you know, onto the support levels looking for buys and on resistances looking for sells. Um, 
So be careful with what you're doing. If, you, if you're if you an amateur or a newer trader, you can easily get burnt trying to trade some of these breakouts, uh, you know, for sure. Um, so you want to have a bit of care there and, and uh, consult maybe a financial advisor if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, there's so much, so much opportunity here on the altcoins. It's it's an absolute joy to be trading them. Um, so yeah, looking at Bitcoin again, let's just end with a quick Bitcoin. I actually have a stag do today, so I'm going to be out all the day. I'm going to be unable to reply to any messages. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally going to be out all the day. Um, so it'll be a cool one. We've got a stag do going on. Um, but yeah, that's going to be me pretty pretty uh, busy. Uh, so I'll have no no internet or anything. I, I don't uh, go on social media when I'm out uh, with friends generally. So that will be me out. Um, so just things to keep an eye on, really, a close above 3,900 and really would want to be seeing 3,928 now uh, as new resistance. But, you know, for me, really, 3,900 is going to be a telling point if we actually manage to close above that. If not, you're going to still be wanting to look at this resistance, although 4,000 overall, this is still resistance until we can close above it. It's definitely still resistance that you should be keeping your eye on. Obviously, the middle of this parallel channel sat, at, you know, let's just say 3,800, 3,800 uh, middle support for the middle parallel, you know, bottom support we're looking at around basically 3,700 so very clear ranges to be looking at 4,000 overall resistance we have 3,900 then we have support at 3,800 and 3,700 so the levels are really clearly defined um yeah it, it doesn't have to be difficult and and I will give you all an update as well when I'm um, pro probably not today if I'm honest with you but tomorrow um I'll give an update on on how I'm actually trading this in more detail because I'm not going to be trading it at all today. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be trading at all because I'm I'm not around. Uh, <laughs> um, otherwise, I would love I would be trading all of this if I was around today. But um, yeah, I'm not going to be. So um, no worries there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I really, really enjoy these ranges, especially when Bitcoin ranges and the altcoins are popping like they are. It's just an absolute joy to be trading. Absolute joy. Um, this is uh, makes me happy. This is this is my smile face. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you just be aware of the alternate counts that this could be the wave two upwards, but we also could be in an overall one, two coming up for a three. So you want to be aware of all counts. Um, but I do hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, yeah. Oh, this was a funny, um, this was a funny little meme. <laughs> sell, 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 sell. Goodbye, goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Everybody's buying. You know, this was a funny meme that I put on. <laughs> um, Oh God, yeah. This I, I want to uh, highlight this. Um, so you all know that I that I all love you, and and I'm so grateful for the for the support. But this sort of thing is like, um, this is a DM that I received. So if you see lots of dislikes on my videos, suddenly I have for some reason some strange person in the world that has decided to get a group together. Um, I don't know. I don't know even know. Like I'm, I was totally speechless. But apparently this guy has been paid by a group leader to dislike every video that I make, um, and he has, um, you know continue this is like he has been suddenly my videos went from getting like zero to one dislikes to like 18 dislikes so for some reason this person has started disliking every video on multiple accounts with his friends i have no idea but he's disliking every video he's trying to ddos uh so like basically trying to take down the website um you know hate comments on videos which i've been noticing an increase in trolling so trolling across the board and apparently is not going to stop until I pay three Bitcoin, which I'm not going to be doing. Um, I would not ever give a give in to trolls and pay f f just a barbaric to even think that I would be so silly to pay. But um, yeah, just be aware that there's probably likely going to be some trolls on my comments and things like this or lots of dislikes. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely crazy. All, all I do is help people um, give educational content, try and give back to the community via helping you out with technical analysis, giving my opinions on the markets. You know, I'm a good, successful trader. If you can take from my opinions, then uh, although they're not financial advice, I'm sure it can be beneficial. All I try and do is use my time in a helpful manner and then I get suddenly get people hating on it. And apparently, I, I don't even know what this was, but apparently it was because I hated on someone's pay group. I have no recollection on hating on other people pay groups to be honest but, but apparently that's what it was um which i do find quite uh weird because i don't really hate on <laughs> people but um so apparently that's what it was for and then pay it stop your content or pay up uh, you know just absolutely crazy so just be aware and i would appreciate you know uh, give me a like. Let's beat the uh, dislikes by having more likes uh, at the very least. So if you have enjoyed my content, please give me a like uh, to know that uh, you're enjoying it. Um, very much appreciate it. Just a like or a comment of support. You know, I, I read every single comment. You all know that. Although I might not reply to every comment, everyone is read. Um, so yeah, they, they put smiles on my faces. So um, yeah, these sort of comments 
you know, I'm just going to just block out all trolls. Every troll is just going to be blocked and ignored. I literally do not have the time to even give a second thought to this anymore. Uh, too, too, too busy, if I'm honest. So busy. Um, so all trolls are just going to be blocked and ignored straight away. Not a second thought is going to be given to them. And that's the last time I'm going to ever comment on the troll. So, um just be aware that in future videos this guy is probably not going to stop uh, because I'm never going to pay him <laughs> um you know that's not a, that's not how you run a business by paying somebody off that's absolutely um Barbaric. Anyway, I want to end by just saying, you know, moving on from that, that's the end of that chapter. On to the chapter of positivity of I hope that you all have an amazing weekend. You do not need to be staring at your charts, to be honest, of what's going on here on Bitcoin unless you're sculping. You know, don't bother, you know, sculping. You don't, don't bother staring at your charts. Add an alert, add an alert of the crossing. You can come back to your screen when it crosses over 3,928, for example. And uh, yeah, just be alerted on that. You not, don't have to waste your... Um, well, obviously, I don't want to tell you what to do, but, you know, you don't need to be, if you're trying to look for swing trades, looking at the computer the whole day, okay? Set an alert, go and enjoy your weekend, okay? Um, likewise, if you are wanting to spend the weekend practicing, commend, you know, respect to you if you want to, you know, spend this weekend practicing, that's totally commendable, and that's a different story, where you can be going over your charts, looking at them, going through in detail, trying to work out Elliott Wave counts, trying to work out these support and resistances, the patterns that we've got going on, um, you know, there's a lot of work that you can be doing, you know, I've recently been get trying more and more GAN charts. Um, I used to trade with GAN charts maybe like three years ago. Um, and, you know, then I stopped because on cryptocurrency for me, GAN charts didn't work. But I have been using GAN charts more and more. And I've been finding that they are actually finding, you know, for me, they're actually getting a bit more use. So, um, you know, there's definitely tools that you can be brushing up on. You know, that's something that I haven't used in about three years. Uh, literally, I stopped using them totally because I found them totally useless in the end on on cryptocurrency. Um, but yeah, that's something that I've been going over lately, uh, just brushing up my skills. There's always way to, ways to improve. You know, I've been trading eight years and I can still brush up on skills. So as a newer trader, there's so many skills that you can be uh, practicing, you know, on times like this. Um, so yeah, without a doubt, use this time to practice uh, and try not to be over trading. Over trading is probably going to get you um, a bit uh, losing money but yeah just keep an eye on Nightcoin here obviously Fournier another shooting star but um yeah there's there's dips to be bought <laughs> um Binance coin as well just you know across the board like lovely alts and that's all I'm going to say on that um so yeah just another really big thank you to you all honestly I do appreciate your support I do appreciate the love and comments and uh you know the whole community that we have on discord and, and throughout uh, social media so thank you everybody um and have a really good weekend. I just want to, hopefully, you can see my smile and I hope that you're smiling too. I love you all. Thank you so much and have a really, really good one. Okay, thank you and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.